previously on Monkey Business. You know, I've always wanted to say that, Billy. I've always wanted. And so we're going to pick up where we left off. We've been getting into the genre of filk music. We've been having a lovely conversation, hearing some uh, very entertaining yeah, songs. Yeah, some and stuff. And some stuff we haven't liked so much either, but, you know. And uh, we'll, we'll pick up where we left off and hear some more great stuff. There we go. So we've got me, you, Tanya, Sherry, Dolly, special guest Sarah, all talking filk music on Monkey Business. All right, who's next? Okay, the next one is by a wonderful author named Shauna McGuire. Shauna McGuire, okay. Yep. Not and Jerry Maguire. No, no. Sean no. and Maguire. Don't make fun of her. She's awesome. Show me the filk. Um, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> now, this is, I'm a little obsessed with this song. This and looks I, long. It's, it's so amazing, though. Yeah. And it What's, doesn't Why are you long. obsessed by this particular song? Because, um, well, you know, I'm a literary geek. Yes. And this one is not just about different literary characters. It's specifically about female characters. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. And how they often get short shrift. Okay. That they just do not have. It's what we were talking about when we were interviewing Jim Hines. Jim Hines, yeah. About um, being able to see yourself in the story. Mm-hmm. And growing up, you had said that you you could you could pick up almost any yeah. sci-fi or fantasy book and you could find somebody who you could relate to. Right. Um, as women, we didn't have that luxury. Mm-hmm. And this talks about the characters that we had and some of the problems that there was. You want to roll this one all the way through? Um, I would love to. Okay. And this is called Wicked Girls Saving Ourselves. Okay. Ooh. Billy, roll this one all the way through. Okay. Uh, the video is loading. Just <laughs> so, <laughs> so we'll vamp yeah. for a couple more seconds. <laughs> I am, uh, well, well, now let's take a back. Well, we see, a we're all going to be watching a lot of dancing through the window into the production her. studio. Okay. Here, Here we go. go. I'm sorry. All right. They say she grew up and grew old. Peter Pan couldn't save her. She went home and she never looked back Got her feet on the ground, got her life on its track She's the patron saint priestess of all the lost girls who got found And she once had her head in the clouds But she died on the ground Dorothy just wanted something that she could believe in Sweet boys and berries. Kate poses riddles and Mary plays 
tricks Well, Kaya builds towers from brambles and sticks And the rules that we live by are simple and clear Be wicked and lovely and don't live in fear Dorothy, Alice and Wendy and Jane Susan and Lucy, we're calling your names All the lost girls who came out on the plane Chose to go back on the shelf There's a poetry to that. I like that. that yes, was, there is. That was very pretty, pretty sweet. What'd you think, Bill? Very pretty. Um, it, it's, <laughs> I, I don't want to say bad because I, it, it's a nice song. It's very mm-hmm. nice. It's very pretty. The lyrics are, mm-hmm. uh, but it's easy to get distracted to if you if you don't already love it. And I know what that's like because there's lots of songs that mm-hmm. I love the lyrics to that just don't grab people the same way they grab me. And it, I mean, I, I know it. it Different point, different people left the room to do other things. Yeah, and, yeah. Sarah and I were kind of shooting the, the breeze, the breeze about a couple of other projects. And there's people that love the song, and I've definitely had songs like that where mm-hmm. it bothers me that why don't you get this <laughs> uh, the same enjoyment out of this song? Yeah. But it sort of had the the effect of at a concert. Here's one from our new album. Uh huh. Okay, yeah, that's a good way to look at it, Sherry. See, for me... She's, she's going to fire us all now no, at this point. No, you know no, no. Right? I don't expect everybody to love what I love. That's mm-hmm. not. That would be stupid. Um, the, the, the thing is, 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 I guess I just didn't realize how, my, how personal this song actually probably is to me. Okay. That the characters that they're talking about, they meant something to me. Mm-hmm. Okay, they're talking about Wendy from Peter Pan. Right. I did catch the references, um, which I thought were very poetically and nicely yeah, done. And, and you know me, and a, a good turn of phrase mm-hmm. will always kill me. Um, but especially the part about Susan and Lucy from The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Mm-hmm. And you and I have had this conversation in the past about mm-hmm. how I feel about the way Susan was treated in those stories. Mm-hmm. And the line, and one queen said, I am not a toy. And she never returned. Right. Was very much how I always felt about that character. Is it, it, that character was such a disservice was done to that character, mm-hmm. and the, at the very in the very last book, um, and I thought this kind of redeemed her a, a little, little bit. bit. See, and I, I, really I guess that. because I, I never read the books, I didn't know yeah. the uh, the references, and, <clears throat> mm-hmm. and so I printed out my Super Bowl squares. I'm sorry, <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> but, it's, but it's lines like um, "For we will be wicked and we will be fair, and they'll call us such names." And we won't really care. Yeah, so that was see, nice. That I was, like that. So go yeah, tell your Susans, yeah. your Lucys, your Janes their place they can go if they're tired of chains. Okay. I mean, these lines, they, they as a woman, as the mother of a daughter, mm-hmm. these lines mean something to me where it's telling girls you can be strong and you can save yourself. One of the first books ever bought for Lana was a wonderful book called The Paper Bag Princess. Mm-hmm. And, um, and it's all about this... Girl who saves the prin- the princess saves the prince, and in the end he's like uh, very upset with her because she doesn't look like a princess. She's your hair is messy and your clothes are disgusting. Come back when you look like a real princess. Mm-hmm. And he's she's just like um, yeah no and leaves. And it was such and to find books like that for her that I wanted to read when I was little. This song embodies that. And it's great. I mean, because that's the culture these days. We're evolving right now. See, yeah, I, I want, I'm going to play this song for my wife because she'll love it. Oh, I'm sure she will, and uh, no, and I'll feel like a dope. <laughs> but, 
But I, I, I get it, and it, it made me want to listen more to the song mm-hmm. to hear your reaction to it. That's yeah. I wish I'd known this before I played the song, to be honest with you. Right. Yeah, um, almost knowing that now, like, how important it was to you. It, it it didn't, like, catch me the same way, but afterwards it's it's a different way to appreciate it, for mm-hmm. sure. It was a beautiful song, no and matter what. I have cats, so I want to play the Stray Cat Strut by Brian. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I'm in on that. That's and the stuff. video. The video definitely makes it because it was a fan video, and it's clips from the movies. Mm. Okay. And that's one of the things that really caught me about it. it was, that was the first place I found it. It was pretty. I mean, it's. I'm. I'm kind of with Billy on it. I, uh-huh. It wasn't totally my cup of tea. I think you would have to have more personal connection. I was mm-hmm. listening to all the lyrics on like I heard Alice in Wonderland reference, and I'm like a huge Disney head, so I heard there all like the Disney references, but. I don't know if it's something I would sit and listen to on my own. And if people are wondering, um, Jane is referred to, mm-hmm. but she doesn't get her own, her own part. Uh-huh. It's Jane Banks from Mary Poppins. Oh, okay. Uh, it's not the man they call Jane? No. It's the hero of Canton? <laughs> no. See, no. That, that song I like. <laughs> there you go. We'll be getting into some Firefly okay. very soon. <laughs> very good. So what's next on our hit parade here? Uh, next is a little ton- tongue-in-cheek poke. At uh, George R. R. Martin. Oh, I'm goody. excited for this one. <laughs> okay. By Paul and Storm, who are absolutely fantastic. And um, it's a l- couple of years old now, but I think it's still relevant in many ways. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of it? It's called Right Like the Wind. Right, and that's in right as I'm scribbling on yes. the paper right. Not, yes. Okay. Right Like the Wind. George R. R. Martin. Right and right faster, you're not going to get any younger, you know. Winter is coming, I'm growing impatient, and you've still got two whole damn books left to go. So write, George, write like the wind. I curse the day that my friend ever loaned me an old dog-eared paperback called Game of Thrones. How could I know that the seed would grow into an addiction that held me right down to my bones? Now five books later I lurk with the masses, indignant, entitled, and waiting forward that the great bearded glacier has finally published 900 more pages of crap for the nerds. Why does every new verse of your song keep taking you so goddamn long? (laughs) George R.R. Martin, please write and write back. Please give us boiled leather and sigils and steel. We need our allotment of incest and intrigue and six page descriptions of every last me. <laughs> yeah. So, right, George, right like the wind. Lewis took five years to chronicle Darnia. Tolkien had 12 years and Rowling took 10. Lucas spent nearly three decades on Star Wars, and we all know how that one turned out in the end. Nice. You're not our Mitch, and you're not a machine, and we don't mean to dictate how you spend your days. But please bear in mind, in the time that you've had, William Shakespeare churned out 35 friggin' plays. And if you keep writing so slow, you'll hold up the HBO show. <laughs> <laughs> George R. R. Martin, please write and write faster, cause we won't stop whining until we're a beast. Crap out the chapters, and George, while you're at it, stop killing our favorite characters, please. <laughs> Like the wind. George R. R. Martin, please write and write faster. Like the more you are, then George, please write like the wind. Okay. That, that was, was fun. fun. I loved that one. I liked that, that one a lot. Yeah, see, that was folky and I liked it. Yeah. <laughs> That's see, off there. Uh, music. Because we can laugh right along there. with it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got every single reference. We're thinking. Yes. Yeah. And this is off their album, Ball Pit. Ball Pit? Yes. Okay. And, it's, and I actually. 
um, was uh, I was actually a backer for this uh-huh. album. Oh, were you? <laughs> Believe it or not. Yes, so I you're was. So you a little, little self-service going on here? Yes, okay. it's a fabulous album. Everything on it is I was getting a Goo Goo Dolls riff off of that. It, it, <laughs> like, I, I think I was feeling, I can't remember the song that I was thinking of, though. Was it maybe Iris? Goo Goo Dolls mm-hmm. Iris? I maybe. don't know about that. Right off the beginning? Yeah. Maybe, I don't I was, know. I was thinking the same thing at the beginning, and then it got folky, and I'm like, yeah. oh, okay. Okay. But that was fun, though. And, and the I references were one. definitely very good. They were yeah. fast and furious there oh, on that one. Oh, I have one. to yeah. look up the DM as a douche. The DM as a douche. <laughs> That's one of their other things like, on yes. Ball Pit. Yep. I like Paul and Storm, so. Yeah. Even though I, I don't watch Game of Thrones, mm-hmm. I still, I can feel the pain. Yeah. You can feel the pain. I can feel the pain of uh, <laughs> Game of Thrones fans. Yeah. I have actually been a fan of this series since the first book came out. All right, so you were uh, a oh. literary fan before you yes. became a... Uh... I mean, literally, when it came out, mm-hmm. I read it. <laughs> so it takes so long in between books, I have to read the entire series again so before I can read yeah, the I've, I've read all six books, and I'm only on, like, season two of the show. I'm only, I, I, yeah, I'm on season two myself. Now, if I want the whole discs, I have to go to my dad, yeah. which he started on Thanksgiving and is done with the series. <laughs> now he's waiting until 2019. Yeah. He's a little upset. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. So, yeah. Very cool. All right. That was a good one. That, I'm going to rank that one as my favorite so far. Right. Same the, the wind. Me as well. Okay. okay. So Sarah and I agree <laughs> on something, which is usual. It happens a lot. Yeah. We do. We tend to. All yeah. right. Yeah. I'm right. still going Arthur Curry. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 I'm with those. That was a good one. I am not shocked. <laughs> I am not shocked. Now I just need to write when Galactus is not a cloud. <laughs> oh, my I, God. Yeah, I was go. wondering when we were going to do that. I was wondering when that, that reference was coming we out. We need to make a Billy shirt. Mm-hmm. We, we need to make a shirt. Uh, a shirt? Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah, between that's that and he who shall not be tanned, we need those yes. shirts. Yes. Well, Nazis, we'll, business. We'll, Nazis. We'll ask uh, Dottie Kins <laughs> if uh, she has um, Aquaman or Galactus fabric. We'll there we go. Make him a shirt. <laughs> All right, who's next? Okay, so now we're going to get into a little bit of Firefly. Yay! For those of us who are Firefly fans, I'm yay! Cry. Um, the first one is by uh, Vixie and Tony. Uh huh. Who. This you'll very much recognize the tune to this one. Um, this is the, they took the actual Firefly theme and put words to it. I thought it had words. I, it th- did. It, but no, that's the chorus of the song. It, they okay. they actually wrote oh. re- about the about the actual show. Mm-hmm. It's it's into a full song. And um, Vixie uh, has a wonderful voice. If you like. Soprano voices, mm-hmm. um, and it's a lot of fun, and it's, and it's actually one of the ones that um, I first went after. Okay, Vixie and Tony, Vixie and Tony, Nelson. When the stars shine bright through the engines trail, and the dust of another world drops behind, when my ship is free of the open sky it's a damn good day to my way of mine there's a barren planet you never can leave there's a rocky valley where we lost a war there's a cross once hung around a soldier's neck there's a man's fake died on serenity's floor but I stood my ground and I'll fly once more Sky 
You know, I, I, this works as a song, not just yeah. as a yeah. uh, Firefly does. reference. Yeah. This could it be did. just a, a country music song that yeah. it, it, it works as but a I, song. But I'll tell you Pretty. where I was in my head. As she's, as she's going through the first verse before she breaks into the actual Firefly theme, mm-hmm. the only thing I could think her going into was Cats in the Cradle and the <laughs> Silver Spoon. Yeah. I mean, that's where, I, I, that's where my head was the entire time. So, But that was, that was fun. That was really nice. Yeah. I liked uh-huh. that one. Yeah. Okay. All I could think of is uh, Shepherd Book in regards to one of the lines with the cross and things like oh, that. Actually, Grandpa. actually, that is an actual Mal reference because in the very first episode, very first scene when they're in the battle, mm-hmm. he kisses the cross, puts it back in his shirt, and uh, that's where he lost his faith. Yeah, and was it never, yeah. And he never wore that cross again. Nope. Mm. That's what it's referring to. Okay. All right. It made so me you, want to watch Firefly again. Yeah, I do. I'm like I, breaking I, out well, those DVDs. Do. Absolutely. <laughs> it's time for a Firefly uh, binge watch. Yes. Yep. That's a weekend right there. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, I need something to watch. Yeah. So cool. what would you guys think? Very eh. pretty. Do- I Dolly's eh. 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 <laughs> See, what we need to do is we need to find some salsa filk. <laughs> <laughs> and then Dolly's There's all in. There's got to be someone, some, somewhere. I Alt rock, actually, you do. I'm definitely, yeah. Do you like? Did you ever get into like the Indigo Girls, Indigo Girls, or something like that? I grew up on them. You yeah. grew up on, well, yeah. Um, <laughs> I've actually been on TV singing the Indigo Girls. Really? Oh, yes. Yes. Okay, Mr. YouTube, let's see what we can find. Where was <laughs> no. it? Here we go. I doubt you can find now it. Now we're off. We, I doubt. You can. Oh, see I bet Mr. he Googles. can find it. <laughs> Where were you singing Indigo Girls on TV? It was a, it was local access. Come on, it's not going to be on YouTube. And it was in 1989, so I highly doubt that it's on YouTube. And the name was it of closer the show? To it did, was. Did you sing closer to it fine? It was closer to fine. <laughs> Me and my friend Lisa. What was the name of the show? It was no. It was a low, it was a talent show. <laughs> Just answer his question. I don't. It was the Whitesboro High School talent show. Oh, okay, <laughs> that sounds hard. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but Billy she, was going to take a run at it. We can see what she's discovered on Pinterest. <laughs> That's like the first thing that comes up. Is for, my Pinterest is images for Sherry so and so singing Ellen Indigo Girls. It comes up with in Pinterest. That's the first thing about Derby Girls. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, nothing else. All right. So All we right. got we got one more. We got one more Firefly, and then we have one more song. Okay. We okay. Have one more. The fire- next one. The last one was pretty and mm-hmm. tells a story. The next one is just purely for fun. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's by the legendary Tom Smith. So legendary that I've never heard of him. I'm sorry yeah. to if say. You, if you're a filker, <laughs> you know who he is. Okay. Trust me. And um, he actually, when I sent him an email requesting the song, he did not send me an email back. He called me. <gasps> did he really? Uh, he did. And I like fangirled all over him. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> it was it really kind of sad. Since 1985, Tom Smith has been breaking hearts, minds, and the laws of propriety and physics with his insane blend of <laughs> sci-fi, fantasy, life with computers, pop culture, politics, and puns. He'd get along with Rob. Yes. I love puns. <laughs> but why do you not like Rob then? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Sorry, I'm kidding. I don't kidding. Kidding. <laughs> like Rob. <laughs> Rumors. And okay. That's how they start. So this Chris. one's called I'm don't on Firefly. And um, for those of us of a certain age, we will recognize the tune. <laughs> it, and uh, advance warning, Dolly. It goes, okay. I'm Captain I'm Mal. Then it goes to Zoe. Then it goes to Wash. Then it goes to Jane. <laughs> then it goes to Kaylee. <laughs> then Simon. Then River. And Nara. Shepherd Book. They're all and short. And then Joss. They're short. So okay. it goes to <laughs> everybody. <laughs> kind of what I figured. All right. It's got a decent crowd. <laughs> la da 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 da. La da 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 da. I hear it. I hear it. <laughs> well, I'm the captain now. My wit is dry. I may never be a success, but I'm gonna try. I live by one law, Murphy's, and you know why. Hey, 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 I'm on Firefly. I'm on Firefly. I'm on Firefly. Well, I'm the first mate, so we I'll always survive. Like my career, I could be a patch of 25 25. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm the hottie who kicked your ass, and you know why. Hey, hey, hey I'm a firefly. I'm a firefly. I'm a firefly. 
da 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 I'm Zoe's husband, Wash. I'm a lucky guy. <laughs> I'm also the pilot, so shut up and let me fly. I'm the comic relief on the wind, and you know why. Yeah, hey, I'm on Firefly. I'm on Firefly. I'm on Firefly. Yeah, da 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 Well, I'm Jane, the hero of Canton. I'm one studly guy. <laughs> Don't get on my bad side or you're going to die. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't have a good side. And you know why? Yeah, hey, I'm on Firefly. I'm on Firefly. I'm on Firefly. Yeah, da, 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 da. Well, I'm Kaylee the Engineer. I know what to do. I'm the oversex grease monkey, snarky savant, Mary Sue. <laughs> I'm in lust with simple Simon, and you know why. <laughs> yeah, hey, I'm on Firefly, I'm on Firefly, I'm on Firefly. Yeah, da 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 well, I'm Simon the doctor, and Jane gets on my nerves. If he doesn't shut up, I'll make sure he gets what he deserves. I'll lock him in a room with my sister, and you know why. Yeah, hey, I'm on Firefly, I'm on Firefly, I'm on Firefly. Yeah, da 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 well, I, 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 I'm River, I think. <laughs> There's a 29.22% chance that this verse won't scan, but if we rewrite it in iambic... Oh, dancing. <laughs> Cute. I'm in our other companion, in love with Mal, who knows why. He always calls me a whore. I think he's shy. <laughs> and nothing's ever gonna happen, cause so am I. Yeah, hey, I'm on Firefly. I'm on Firefly. I'm on Firefly. Yeah, da 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 da. Well, I'm Shepherd Book, but token religious guy. Got a great left hook, and I think like a spy. All that Barney Miller paid off, and you know why. Outstanding. Yeah, hey, I'm on Firefly, I'm on Firefly, I'm on Firefly. Yeah, da 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 well, I'm Klaus Whedon, the creator, yeah, that's me. The only one to compare is J. Michael Straczynski. <laughs> I thank you all for watching Serenity. Yay, hey, buy my DVD, buy my DVD. I work for Disney. <laughs> oh, I'm Brown and Braga, and I'm the Star Trek guy. Forty years of franchise, we almost kissed it goodbye. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Joss got it right in one. I hate that guy. <laughs> Yay, hey, he did Firefly, he did Firefly, he did Firefly. Yeah, da, 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 da. Well, now my song is done. Time to say goodbye. It's been a lot of fun, but I gotta fly. I've set aside 15 hours, and you know why. Yeah, hey, to watch Firefly, to watch Firefly, to watch Firefly. Yeah, da, 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 da. Firefly for a white guy. Ah, nice. <laughs> oh, that was funny. <laughs> That was that a good one pick. Was fun. <laughs> that one that was fun. That was a really, really good pick, Sherry. I like that one. <laughs> well, Dolly, I didn't hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Is it because you had the advance warning that we were going through each character? <laughs> no. <laughs> to be honest with you, I'm a little bit with Dolly. I should have liked it more. It's uh-huh. the type of stuff I like more, uh-huh. but it just it, went on too long, or I, I don't know, or the, I, I didn't love I, it as much you know, as I should have. I think it would have been better if I had seen him performing it, because especially with that river part, to yeah. figure out exactly what yeah. he's doing. In probably there. just looking, staring, he's probably just staring he's around the room or something like, like this, that. ready to hit something. <laughs> yeah. but, but, well, he yeah. was playing the guitar, so right. <laughs> probably not. Yeah, well, so. so, but... That was fun. That is fun. But he and his, tags each character Yes, and perfectly. his stuff is all like that. It's very funny... Um, well, no, okay, I won't say that because there's another song that I don't know if we decided if we were going to play because we didn't know if we wanted to cry or not. But at this oh. point, it's not really on. But I, but if you go when you go to the podcast, um, I will post a link to that particular okay. song because the one that's about Kermit, the one about Kermit, the frog and his boy, uh, yes, the frog and his that's, boy. That's, Tom does that one. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. And I don't think we wanted to cry. We no, didn't, we're, we we're didn't not into crying cry. right now. There's we no did. crying in podcasts. <laughs> sure there is. Sure there is, especially when people are listening to us. But anyway. <laughs> 
So we got one more. Is there, are we going to close out the show with this one? We or? have one more. And this one um, is all genres. Okay. This goes everywhere, talks about conventions. Uh Uh-huh. This is an amazing song called Talk Nerdy to Me. I knew this one. You knew this one? It sounds very familiar to, like, Talk Dirty to Me. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, This is, like, the only one I actually knew. Okay. (laughs) Hey, listen. What game that you get on Is it card or read What kind of class do you play girl In an RPG Cause I know what them elf girls need From WoW to Emmy I'm going 30 hours online straight now You make it hard to leave Bring to me to learn Do you speak my language Your elf ears don't need explaining All I really need for you to do is Just please talk nerdy to me Wow. Wow. Talk nerdy to me. <laughs> Talk nerdy to me. Get nerdy with me. You name all twelve of the docs, I can't resist that. <laughs> and what's the core in your wand? I think that ours match. Cause I know with me you get sore. Durm strength to Hogwarts. I'm pretty sure I'm you cast a curse, girl. At the Imperious one. Bitch, Comic Con, hope you speak my language. Your Harley Quinn don't need explaining. All I really need for you to do is just please talk nerdy to me. Talk nerdy to wow. me. Cool girls to get with me. Just have my clan tag, bring a high KD. Cause the headshots we'll be making, we'll be topping the team. Or Magic the Gathering, deck on deck. You like Twilight, yeah, I ain't touching your neck. I got nerd friends, but the friends with respect. I can call a fire man without breaking a sweat. And I wanna hear issues, yeah, I'm talking about your comments. Cause the fact of the matter ain't no go better than a girl that talks on electronics. For us to get along, just tell me Lucas got it wrong. Cause clearly in Star Wars, the first shot was made by Han. Look at Enterprise, now I speak the language. You would try, don't need explain. All I really need for you to do is just please talk nerdy to me. Talk nerdy to me. I can stop. Talk nerdy to me. My God. (laughs) Sherry had all the bobbleheads on the table going. <laughs> See, I, I liked that uh-huh. because of its infectious fun. And yeah. watching yeah. Sherry and Alana <laughs> yeah. was, if I was just sitting here, I'd, yeah, it's it's cute. It's it's nice. It's funny. But, but the reaction but to the people who are into it. Yeah. Can I let it, you in on a little secret, Billy? Yes. We do that in the kitchen while cooking. Oh, I, I, I'm <laughs> sure. Well, that's not a surprise thing. What a thing. shock! Yeah. <laughs> I that thought that song. was the first time you did that. Here is my shock face. <laughs> <laughs> what you talking about with us? I mean, it's kind of how like Edwin got me. He talked nerdy to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, a romance for Actually, the ages. What this what this one reminded me of, and I, have you guys watched any of the uh, MST3K Mystery Science Theater 3000? I have not. The yes. new season? Yes. Yes. yes all on of it, Netflix? Yes. The first episode has that uh, rap song, Every uh, yes, Country Has a Monster. Yes. Oh, it's so brilliant. <laughs> that is great. Can, can I play just a, a second yes. of it? Go right ahead. Because I, I love this. and It made me, I pull it up because it yeah. reminded yeah, me. Yeah, what's your it's, deal? Right. Why don't you shave? What? It's Jonah yeah. talking yeah, to the too. bots. No, but I thought giant monsters came from Japan, not Denmark. <laughs> well, Asia clearly has the most monster credibility, but there's a beautifully diverse array of global monsters all over the planet. Mm. Explain. Preferably through rap. <laughs> oh, all right, if you insist. 
Reptilicus is silly, but he really illustrates the great array of monsters all over the place. Not just in Japan, but across the planet. An A to Z gamut or gargantuan panoply. Example, please. One name a land. Belize. Oh, geez. Easy peasy. Maze of maze. Seeing the Yucatan, you can meet El Cadejo and believe they believe in him. They're not afraid to say so. Scotland. Nessie's living up in a lot. How about Poland? Scary, scary crow name a butt. So, so it's not just Godzilla? Well, duh, crow. There's a lot that could kill you. Hey. Prom, hey sorry, crow. Okay. Gross. Joe. Yo, Jonah, hey, how's the this. chorus go? Every country <laughs> has a monster <laughs> they're afraid of <laughs> in their nation. Every <laughs> monster <laughs> has a country. Yeah, station they call their home. I am totally loving this song right now. Gloutin Groben. What turned the mustard's guts to spaghetti? Was it a Tibet? <laughs> yep. Then he met a Yeti. Australia. Bear drop bears will impale ya. Then they'll sell ya hella touristy paraphernalia. Trooper cop is chewing up cattle down in Mexico. Del Geats horns Gorn battle in the Navajo. Congo's Congo motto is a mongo flying dino. I know I don't want to die, but when I do, he'll be the guy. Whoa! <laughs> So crow, Servo. ready to go. Start slow. Kropemon is a monster from Luxembourg. Who's actually the size of Luxembourg. <laughs> he crushed the whole country of Luxembourg. Because he is the size of Luxembourg. He's just got mummies like Tutankhamen. Common. Leprechaun on Milan and Boston Common. Bot's got the hang of it. The song's really kicking. Chickeny China, the Chinese chicken. <laughs> By that I mean Zhu Fang and Peng. Hmm. Giant Chinese birds. And oh. one of them yeah, yeah, yeah. turns into a fish. Anyway... <laughs> News killer shrews in the loop guru, Baba Yaga Jorogumu in the Impunulu. Now you guys realize the surprising size of all the worldwide daikaiju. Every country has a monster they're afraid of in their nation. Every monster has a country that a station they call their home. Top of the mouth, all the swears. Every country. As a country, yeah, we got movie signs. Outstanding. I'm going to go back and watch that episode. I, I have say, to I now. I say thank you, Billy, oh, for that. Oh, this is Paul and Storm. <laughs> what is Paul, it? Paul they write, Storm. Did they write it? Did they yeah, write the that? the music and lyrics were written by Storm and Paul. That's amazing. Awesome. There you go. I was yeah. into that. Like a little tidbit. Okay. So is this so milk? Now, now we won't get into, I don't know if it's milk, but now we won't get into trouble because they gave us permission to use their music. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Thank you, Paul and Storm. I got to tell you, I was actually like having, you know, just making that closing credits mm-hmm. for the, the show from here on in for in perpetuity at this point because I'm just Every- loving that freaking song right now. Um, Billy, it's a, a um, just to mention that reminded me of a, of a podcast that yes. I listened to. I listen to podcasts. Um, <laughs> Other than our own? Yeah. Amazing. Um, it's called Myths and Legends by uh, Jason Weiser. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. And it does all different stories. And they do, he does a lot of like different stories from different cultures and things. And he has like, a, and then at the end, there's like a monster of the week and all this thing. Um, but the one that he's doing, he just started a new one. It's called Fictional. And it's about, and he, and he does um, stories, books that are in the public domain. Okay. But then at the end, he does something that always reminds me of you, makes me think of you every time I listen to it. And it's called Best of the Worst. And it's a short piece where he goes through different obscure comic book villains. Okay. <laughs> and they are so funny. I want to die. And every time I listen, I'm like, Billy would love this. Billy needs to listen to just, even if he doesn't listen to the rest of the podcast, he, that, needs, to, he needs to listen to worst, uh, best of the worst. Best of the worst. I'm writing it down. <laughs> Jason writing it down. Can Weiser. Even That's Jason Weiser as in like, I'm wiser than you? W-E-I-S-E-R. Okay. Budweiser. Yes. Got gotcha. But best of the worst. And it's okay. at the end of his fictional podcast. Very yeah. cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Oh, I, I was so caught up in every country as a monster that I forgot to hit this. Record. <laughs> <laughs> <I'll> record. <laughs> this has been Monkey Business for the week. Thanks for joining us as always. And if you're interested, please check the links that Sherry will post and uh, you will be able to hear more of this music. We are the product of the Mighty Monkey Corporation, purveyors and producers of the Flower City Comic Con. Coming at you June 9th and 10th of 2018. Love us on Facebook. Follow us on Patreon, and we will see you all next week. Have a great one, and thanks for joining us.